Okay, so this is digital processing of an XOA film then. I just wanted to show you a few different films. So everything has to be kept in a cupboard, out of the way of the collar meter, which is here. If you left the sensor plate near the collar meter, then these could um, get exposed, then you're overexposing your patient, and the X-rays are not going to turn out as well. So keep these in a drawer out of the way of the collar meter. You get lots of variations in sizes, actually. You get the small ones, the long films, and then you get wider films as well. So I just wanted to show you a film today. When they come out, they shouldn't have any defaults in it like this one. I wouldn't use that X-ray um, for digital because it's going to show up on your X-ray film with having a big line across. So make sure that your film, what you're going to use, is clearable, scratches or marked. It's not bent as well. Even this one. This is an old film I wanted to show you. We wouldn't use this now. It's, it's too far gone. Um, and what happens is we put these in a cover. So you put your cover in onto your X-ray film. So the patient says he wants two bite wings, so you'd get two sensor plates, two coverings, and you'd put it in. So then you can open the bite wing holder, just not the end of them, and this goes in your sensor plate. When the patient bites down on the bite wing, the patient will then line up with the face there, the collar meter, and, and the patient will be exposed then with the X-ray. But it hit the sensor plate. We then go and film, put the film through in the developing room. So I'll, I'll take you through to the developing room and show you that now. Oh. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the digital processing. So when we come into the digital room, it should be a, a separate room. It should be password locked, protected for computers to comply with data protection. I'm not going to pull up anything now because I don't want to show the patient notes, but you would get the patient up from the surgery. You would then, obviously after disinfecting your film in the surgery, Take your film out and you actually put this through the sensor plate just here. So it's got a little magnet and it will connect and then it just takes it in. What that then does is it scans the image onto the computer. Again, this is not taken on an actual patient so you're not going to see the image. So here's your x-ray film. So that's ready now to use on another patient. So before I go back to the surgery, I would get a clear pouch, put that in, seal that, that's ready to be used again. So this is now clinical waste. 